Sir Toppenham works his engines and pony workers hard, and they are especially very proud when he calls them really useful. One day, Edward and Applejack were feeling very excited. I'm going to the scrapyard today, Thomas. What? Already? But you're not even that old. <laughs> <laughs> wow, funny. I'm kidding, but be careful, Edward. Thank you, Thomas. I will. The Crosby scrapyard was full of rusty old parts, automobiles, and machinery. They are broken into smaller pieces, loaded into freight cars, and Edward and Amplejet take them to the aluminum steelworks at Peel Gonger where they are melted down and used again. But today, there was a surprise waiting for them in the yard. Why, bless me. What is it, Eddie? It's a traction engine, right there. Well, how are we? So it is. Howdy there. My name's Applejack, and this here's my buddy Edward. Hello. You're not broken and rusty. What are you doing there? I'm Trevor. They're going to break me up next week. What a shame. That's just a dang shocker. My driver says I only need some paint, some brasso, and oil to be as good as new. But it's no good. My master doesn't want me. I suppose it's because I'm old-fashioned. Edward snorted indignantly. People say I'm old-fashioned, but I don't care. Sir Topham Head says I'm a useful engine. My driver says I'm useful too. I sometimes feel ill, but I don't give up like those tractors. I just struggle on and finish the job. I've never broken down in my life. Wow, we Sounds to me like you're a hard worker like us. What work did you do? My master would send us from farm to farm. We threshed the corn, hauled logs, sawed timber, and did other kinds of work. We made friends at all the farms and saw them every year. The children loved to see us come. They followed us in crowds and watched us all day long. My driver would sometimes give them rides. Oh yes, I like children. With their cars freshly loaded, Edward and Applejack set off for the steelworks. 
Broken up, what a shame. Broken up, what a shame. I must help Trevor, I must. I know. What can we do? They then thought of the people they know who liked engines, but strangely, none of them would have room for a traction engine at home in their backyards. It's a shame, it's a shame. Why didn't I think of him before? What is it? Look! And there, waiting on the platform, was their old friend, the Vicar of Crosby. Morning, all. You look upset. What's the matter, Charlie? There's a tractor engine in the scrapyard, Vicar. It'll be broken up next week, and it's a shame. Jim Coe says he never drove a better engine. Do save him, sir. You've got room, sir. Oh, yes, Edward. I've got room, but I don't need a traction engine. You saw wood and give children rides? Do buy him, sir, please. We'll see. Hey, Eddie, what's he mean by we'll see? I think he's saying he'll have to think this over. Well, I darn well hope he'll consider. A short time later, just before Trevor was due to be scrapped, Jim Cole came to visit him on Saturday afternoon. The Reverend's coming to see you, Trevor. Maybe he'll buy you. Do you think he will? He will when I've lit your fire and cleaned you up. Soon, the vicar and his two boys arrived later that evening. Trevor was blowing off steam because he hadn't felt so happy in months as he chuffed happily around the yard. No, I'll try. Show your paces, Trevor. After taking Trevor for a spin, he came out of the office later that evening smiling. I got him cheap, Jim, cheap. Do you hear that, Trevor? The Reverend saved you, and you'll live at the vicarage now. Now Trevor's new home is in the vicarage orchard close to the railway, and he sees Edward and Applejack every day. His paint was spotless, and his brass shines like gold. He saws firewood during the winter months, and Jem sometimes borrows him when his tractor fails. Trevor likes doing his old jobs again, but his happiest day is the annual church fair. With a wooden seat temporarily bolted to his coal bunker, he chuffs about the orchard, giving rides to children. Long afterwards, you will see him shutting his eyes, remembering. Thank you, Edward. You and Applejack have made me happy again and gave me a second chance of being useful again. Now I look forward to many more jobs in the future, especially making children happy.